Hey, what's up guys? This is Andrew Smursek with Combat Air Training. Today we're going to be talking about keeping your finger off the trigger and how to practice it. Hey, even if you've been shooting for a long time, pay attention here. Um, see, most people are going to practice shooting a lot. They're going to do a lot of dry fire practice to get better at shooting. They're going to practice a lot of things to get better at pressing the trigger, right? Um, but very rarely will people practice not touching the trigger. And that's something I want us all to focus on. And um, like deliberately practice not touching the trigger. So uh, if you think about this, if every time you handle a gun, you end up touching the trigger, um, what habit do you think you'll have under stress? It's like, I'll explain the firearm safety rule, keep your finger straight off the trigger and high off the trigger guard until your gun is aimed at the target and you're ready to fire. And sometimes people will be like, oh, well, that's common sense, right? Even though they didn't know the firearm safety rules. Like we wouldn't have firearm safety rules if common sense were a real thing. I don't believe it's a real thing anymore. Um, and they'll be like, oh, it's common sense. You know, everyone knows that. Okay, but we don't have common sense under stress. We only have the habits we have built, okay? So this uh, this needs to be a deliberate habit that, that we practice and we ingrain into ourselves so it becomes subconscious, all right? So when we're talking about it, this is what I am looking for. Point your finger straight up as much as possible, okay? Straight up. So keep your finger straight off the trigger and high off the trigger guard until your gun is aimed at the target and you're ready to fire. So lots of times people will be like this, which I believe is totally unacceptable, or they'll just be touching the frame. As much as possible, try to point straight up. If you're touching the ejection port as a righty or um, as a lefty, think about your finger going up above the slide. That is perfect, okay? Um, but at least be touching the metal of the slide. That's what we're going for, okay? Above the frame. Um, see, the frame is fine and this is fine when we're just on the range and, you know, there's nothing real crazy going on. Uh, but things got more, you know, more dynamic, more crazy. Um, you know, like you're you're shooting on the move, you're you're slipping, you're falling, someone's you know bumping into you, or uh, someone's tackling you because they think you're the bad guy. Your gun's gonna end up pointing where you don't want it to be, and you're gonna end up squeezing really hard in on the gun. And if your finger is just kind of lazily a little bit above the trigger when you squeeze in, it's more likely to fall into it than if you're deliberately pointing it straight up. So just try to try to like make the webbing in your in your hand right here hurt. You're pointing it up. You're pointing your fingers up so hard. Okay. Um, now this this can be like a kind of a thing that people don't really realize they're they're not good at. Okay, so that's why I want you to deliberately practice this. So um, a lot, oftentimes, like guys who haven't been to a, a more dynamic training course where they're doing lots of draw strokes, um, you know, emergency reloads, tactical reloads, and clearing malfunctions, shooting from cover, shooting while moving, moving and bounding cover to cover, all that. Um, oftentimes, like if, if they haven't done that, like you're probably just not good at this, okay? Um, also, uh, people who generally keep their guns unloaded, so every time they pick up a gun, they're like, oh, it's unloaded, and they use that as a crutch, right? Uh, and then that makes them violate rule number one, trio guns if, if they're loaded, and then they just disregard the rest too because, uh, because they're like, oh, my gun's safe. Um, and then people with safeties on pistols, I've, I've seen them struggle with this, and then uh, if you only shoot on a flat range, right? Um, because you're just in a box and things are so controlled that it's like hard for things to go wrong. Um, and then also, uh, if you don't handle your guns often, that's why I'm saying we need to handle our guns to deliberately practice this, all right? Um, and you think about it too, uh, we should probably have more reps practicing keeping our finger off the trigger than we should uh, have practicing touching the trigger. So like the shooting aspect, the or you know dry firing or whatever now to, to get good at taking our finger off the trigger we will have to touch the trigger also so that we create a connection of all right immediately take your finger off and let's get into that how to practice it so uh first off practice like your draw stroke without touching the trigger at all whatever target you got like if you got something somewhat human form like a, a target like this right here just imagine that the bottom of the target are where his hands are right and we can draw our gun and point it below his hands and we don't touch the trigger at all, right? And if you want 
to, you know, do several reps where you draw and you point it just below his hands. Practice your verbal commands, all of that. Um, and then if you do want to practice uh, the, the shooting aspect or dry firing from there, then you're pointing below his hands. Imagine his hands go for like a gun or a knife or chainsaw or whatever. Then bring the gun up and then get in that proper dry fire rut um, or live fire actually shooting. You can even just spray paint some hands on the target. Like this is one of our uh, no shoot targets <clears throat> from uh, our low light pistol class. You know, do whatever you want. Um, another big thing, practicing it with reloads and malfunctions. So uh, dry practice, the way I do is I always set up like my, my malfunction or my reload and then in my head I kind of just say start and then I go through the process I need to um, to clear that malfunction or do that reload, all right? So right here I'll set up kind of the worst type of uh, stove pipe, the type two, <clears throat> where the brass is straight in line and you really need to rotate the gun over to, uh, to clear it, right? So, practicing keeping our finger off the trigger for this, we're gonna start, um, we're gonna start with a dry fire, but then the first thing we think about is taking our finger off the trigger, okay? So, sight it in, I press the trigger, finger off, then I clear it. All right, and if I want to just, you know, with these dummy rounds I got in there now, do a couple uh, media action drills. Again, press the trigger, finger off, move, tap, rack, reset. Reload, all right, now, Staying up for a reload too. Set up your gun like this. We got an empty mag, right? And the slide is locked to the rear. Sight in on the target. All right. Touch trigger, then immediately finger off, then conduct your reload, however you like to do it. All right. <clears throat> um, but just put that, put that connection in there like immediately. Like uh, the, the first thing we do is take our finger off the trigger. Um, another big thing uh, is practicing like other draw strokes or uh, searching your home or whatever. If you're searching your home, use like a blue gun, okay? Um, that way, there's no possible way we're gonna have a negligent discharge somewhere in our house, okay? Um, if you're doing dry fire, having a safe direction, preferably a bulletproof target that, that uh, when you're done with it, you take it down later uh, so that you're not tempted to shoot light switches and shit like that. Um, that was from <coughs> Jaeger's uh, uh, dry, dry Practice DVD. I really like that. Um, go to LibertyTV.com and, and uh, become a member there. But um, think about it too, you know, if we're working with our flashlight, light up, shining, high pectoral index of the gun, maybe searching, right? And we don't even point the gun at anything that entire time. We just practice drawing. <coughs> and putting the gun away, all right? Um, another big thing is uh, think about getting that gun into like a like a, your sewel or um, your gun up position, right? Practice getting in there, moving around, um, and then simply putting it away without shooting at all. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you can get out at the range and do lots of shooting where you start at a couple different positions, right? You shoot here, finger off, get your gun in the correct position, then you move, and then you continue shooting. Finger off, move, shoot, finger off, and deliberately practice that finger off. Um, we want this to be a subconscious thing, okay? So anyways, that's about it. Uh, just just deliberately practice and, and think about taking your finger off the trigger, okay? Um, none of us are good enough not to make a mistake. All right, uh, I don't believe this is this is a common sense thing. This is a habits thing. Okay, so let's build that habit, and we'll be better off. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment below. Um, you know, if you have a horror story, 
not a sad story where someone got hurt. I don't want, I, well, I mean, if you want to comment that, that's okay, but uh, if you got like a, a scary like, oh shit, the guy had his finger on the trigger and blah, 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 because he was bad, go ahead and comment that, that story below. Um, <clears throat> thank you for everyone who is watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, if you're not subscribed, you need to subscribe right now. Um, thank you to all my students, especially. Um, been having a great time with you guys. A low light pistol class was fucking awesome. Um, thank you, everyone. Keep fighting communism, and remember that training saves lives.